What is going on everybody? It is Luke Beller with the Sideline Scoop and we have an interesting video right now because I was not planning on making a video tonight and then I get a message in our uh, Discord channel and someone says that the Packers sign a player and I was like, I have yet to see any information about the Packers signing a player and then I get sent this Instagram link to this player whose name is Ennis Gaines. He was a safety for TCU. He went undrafted in 2020 this year and if you take a look at right here, I sort of filmed his Instagram. You can see here. So this is what he posted two hours ago. He said, They done gave your boy a chance. Now the young infant and below. Living proof that you can do it. Against all odds, all glory be to God. Go Pack Go Packers. And then he posts himself signing something. And then a picture of him in a Green Bay Packers uniform. And I have not seen anyone report this yet. So this is definitely not official. Don't, don't take this as me saying he has been signed. All I'm saying is it looks like... He's doing something with the Packers. I don't know if he's getting signed to the practice squad, to the roster, to something else. That's what it looks like. And you even have Ty Summers right here, Packers player, commenting, let's go, congrats, bro, welcome. So it seems to me that Ennis Gaines is going to be on the Packers in some capacity. It just seems that maybe it's not official yet. Um, but he decided to um, post that on Instagram a few hours ago. So I sort of thought I would just sort of talk about that. So if we take a look at Ennis Gaines, he played at TCU from 2016 to um, 2020, he played in 29 games there, had 105 tackles, four sacks, and three interceptions. And then, unfortunately, he had, I think, some injury problems. That's what I was reading um, in the past couple seasons of his college career. And um, then he ends up, you know, not being able to have a pro day just because of the whole, you know, COVID situation and all that kind of stuff. And from an article I was reading, they said he had a lot to gain from having a pro day. Unfortunately, he didn't get to have that pro day. And then... Um, ends up going undrafted in the 2020 NFL draft. And then one other interesting tidbit of information is Vernon Scott, the safety for the Packers, was his teammate there while at TCU. So it seems that he already has some connections, you know, with Vernon Scott, with the Packers player. So that's that's cool to see. And then also as I was doing some Googling over on Google, because that's where you do your Googling, um, it came across that he was actually worked out by the Packers back in August. Um, so I guess they sort of had an eye on him, didn't end up doing anything with him back in August. But maybe now it seems that maybe the Packers want to bring him on. Um, but, but but again, this isn't official. Maybe by the time you're watching this, maybe some actual news has come out from, you know, whoever reports the news. I don't know how these news things go. I don't know if, if, if a player is like, hey, hey, Packers reporter, here's some news, here's some facts. I don't know where it comes from. I've yet to see anyone say anything about it. So who knows? Maybe it's all a lie. Maybe uh, Ty Summers is in on a uh, little joke and they're trying to convince us that Ennis Gaines has signed. So if the Packers have decided to bring in another safety, um, I guess, you know, we have Darnell Savage, we have Adrian Amos playing, you know, as some of the best safeties in the NFL. And maybe they decided that they want some more depth. I don't know if it's on the practice squad. I don't know if it's on the roster. Who knows? Hopefully we'll find out some information in the next few hours because... That, interesting, that Instagram post is pretty interesting. So that's what I wanted to break down on today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you like it down below. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. We just hit 3,000 subscribers. I think it was like last night. So I want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing, for tuning in, for turning on notifications. And I really appreciate every single one of you. And as always, go pack, go baby.